Okay, so today is starting out like actually pretty good. We are here at Scooter Zone again. We're checking out because they just layered all of the rolling and they've actually started some of the quarters right here, which we will show you guys here in just a minute. But we're going to test this thing out really quick. We're going to see how the transition is. It is a lot steeper than the last one if you guys had ever gone to the last Mega Zone, but that's why we're kind of here just checking it out, see how, seeing how that bottom transition is, if it's quick, if it's not. So we're going to cruise over. We're going to get on the scoot. I have my GoPro on, so we're going to be going back and forth. So um, see how this goes. Not layered with masonite yet. It is not ready for that. So we can't do like we can't go and do like flares or anything. We can't do any scooter flips just yet. We, we're literally just testing out how this thing rolls down really quick. So start from here. We're gonna jump kind of into this one because we have that bench to deal with. So we can't run into that. All bad. Probably just get a thumbnail while I'm up here. All right. So we're gonna go jump in. Close your eyes because the sawdust. When you jump in, it feels pretty. Pretty normal, like a, in comparison to the last one. The bottom is just quicker than the last one. Uh, going up is a little bit different, but that just could just be because it's, there's no masonite yet, so it's not as fast. But it feels fast. It's definitely like pushing me out pretty quick. So when we do put the quarters on this side, doing anything on the step up quarter or the resi or the foam pit would be legit. All right, so let's try the big one really quick. See how she feels. This one's a 12, right? Pretty normal. Like, it's not too fast at the bottom, which is good. I definitely felt a lot more speed, obviously, because of the bigger yeah. drop. Same thing, like I said, I still have to, like, absorb it, because if I do pump it, and one of those wheels goes through, I'm toast. But no, she feels good, though. Like, it's fast. And all the kids that come here at first are going to be nervous. Okay, so as you guys saw, Ramp works pretty well. There's no mason on it yet, so that's why it kind of looks different because it's not even close to being done. Well, this is close. This is close to being done, but everything else, we still got a while. But let's show you guys what these quarters look like really fast. Okay, so we're looking at the ramp. I went through a little bit. It's because, like I said earlier, there's no mason on this one yet, so going through it is, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but because it's it's kind of thin right now, like I said, it's just, it's penetratable, penetratable, pen you can break it. See if we can iron it, because everything's sucked down tight. I mean, it's, it's just hitting right there. I wonder if it's just cave smashing on the plywood. Then we got, I messed up this one over here too. <laughs> Sorry guys. So I put, I put two marks on it. The one small one in the middle, which we're looking at right now, and then the other one. Now, before we move on, don't think that it's because the ramps are bad, trust me. It's because we're riding it when we're not supposed to be. You're never supposed to ride the ramp when there's only two layers of plywood on this thing. Like, look at, this is how thick we are right now. One two that's all we have and then right here like after this second layer right here there's just it's, it's just nothing it's just i don't know how well you can see that but inside of here there's just like it's just empty space like there's nothing in there so after those two plywood uh sheets that's it so once you put all the masonite on this thing we actually get this thing to where it's supposed to be ready to go and you're supposed to ride it then it won't get any holes in it very quickly obviously every single ramp in the world gets holes in it eventually but this will be good to go, and I'm really, really excited to actually ride this place. Also, here's these quarters over here. They're starting up on these things. They're not layered yet. They just have kind of like the skeletons done, all the framing is done on them. So this is going to be like where the foam pit is, and the middle is going to be where the resi is. And on that side, which is not actually built yet, it's actually, well, it's built. It's this one, but it's not set over there. That's where the step up is going to be. So it's going to be all this stuff, and there's going to be a quarter after the resi, and there's going to be a quarter after the step up as well. So the setup is going to be really, really sick. I'm stoked. I got to come over here, ride this thing really quick try it out and uh, see how it rode it rides pretty good it's it's steep it's quick like I said you guys are probably gonna be a little bit nervous about it but don't worry you can do it look at how nervous you are <laughs> calm down I'm on the edge I'm here to tell you guys a story yeah so once upon a time Raymond Warner thought that he was sick all right he decided to come to a place called Scooter Zone and freaking make a video and call it his skate park. But it's really my skate park. Not yours, it's mine. I don't even know what to do anymore. I've been on this TV show and naked and afraid. Oh, wait, it's against the rules if I have a shirt on? I've been on this TV show and it's, I don't even know anymore. I didn't think naked and afraid was gonna be this hard, but I just, I just feel so naked. I feel so naked and it's so different than normal. It's so different. Wait, I'm at a skate park? Wait! I've been a couple times and honestly we got to see you. You have no shirt on. 
How do you have clothes on? Isn't this naked and afraid? This is my addiction, damn it! Oh god. Don't slide down again. You will I'm lose scared. it. You will lose the butt cheek. Just run. Don't do it like that. Just go down your butt and then as you get to the bottom, run it out. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> yes, you can. Just push yourself forward. <laughs> I did it. Did it. I got scared. <laughs> It's so windy. All right, so we made it over to Summerlee Skate Park right now. Mackenzie's actually here. She's riding too. It's me and Steve-O. So Steve-O and I, are, we're playing a game of scoot right now. I'm not doing that good. But we're gonna continue this game. What's the score right now? S to S-C-O. Oh, that's bad. Double heel, double whip. Double heel, double whip. Got it. By the way, sorry if the, the wind is really bad. The skate park really sucks with that. The wind is terrible here all the freaking time. All right, I'm gonna go back to the first trick I was trying, which was a 720. Why is this happening? Dude, how do you not die every time? You look like you're going back so far. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Stupid foot. All right, what you got? Oh, new Asking me double O here pretty quick. Three oh. down double. Letter? C to double O. Evo! Freaking win! Chill out! Oh. Hold your front scoot. Pretty consistent. Oh my god! He freaking died again! I'm adding a turn down. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't land anything, dude. Like, seriously, nothing. It's worst day I've had in a long time. Not our freaking day. Not our freaking day. I'm not doing that. All right, well, that game was not fun at all. All right, so we're gonna ride a little bit more and then I'm actually, uh, Mac and Zachy, she's, oh, Mac and Zachy, you should get a clip. Show them your new trick. What up? Do your, do your new trick. Hopefully you don't get blown away. Hey. That's the first quarter that she's ever gone down in her entire life. What did I just say? That's the first quarter that she's ever gone down in her entire life and now she's gonna go around. She's probably gonna do her little hump thing because she loves doing these. Yep, told you. Yeah. Mind you, the wind. Yeah, bro. All right, well, since we're here, we're gonna get a few clips on this little, this is the only thing anybody rides, just the, the whole skate park. I'm just gonna call it the skate park. Dude, I'm seriously so over the session right now. I've been riding and like just falling on seriously everything I've tried. So, uh, I need to go home and need to calm down. Oh, bruh. All right, so I just got back to the house and my freaking arm is not feeling that good. I fell like directly onto the side of it. Like and I landed like this. And as you guys know, like this side of my arm, I was like, I have like a really, really bad shoulder. So I landed on it just like the wrong way when I fell on that bri whip over that gap. And it's, it's just really stiff right now. I'm gonna have to ice it up a little bit, but it's not feeling that good. I'm gonna try to ride it off, or actually, I'm, I'm gonna try to sleep it off is what I'm gonna try to do. So hopefully it feels a little bit better by tomorrow, but that was not cool. Did not have a good day. Everybody has bad days, of course, but I, it's just, when you get back home after a bad day, it's just that feeling of unaccomplishment is, is what I'm feeling right now. And I just don't, I don't like that feeling, of course, but I'm gonna try to get, get over to a different skate park tomorrow and just kind of practice because I haven't actually like done a lot of practice lately, which is probably why I actually fell. Um, on a bri whip uh, nonetheless. I'm usually pretty good at bri whips, but I don't usually do them straight But I don't usually fall like that when I'm trying to do something as simple as a bri whip So again, not a good day Which makes me realize that I need to get out I need to get to different skate parks and practice a little bit And so that's exactly what we're gonna try to do tomorrow So if there is no vlog tomorrow, I apologize for that. Uh, well wait, there is gonna be a vlog tomorrow But if there's not a vlog the next day, that's because I went out specifically to practice. So um, I'm going to apologize for that in advance if that does happen. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, again, I'm really excited to ride the new skate park when it is finally finished. If you guys want to see um, a little bit of that park in person, cruise over to Screw Zone. All that stuff will be in the description below. Address, phone number, you guys can call them to see what the update is on the skate park. Yeah, all that good stuff. Hopefully everybody enjoys the park when it's done. And you know, I'm, I'm going to try to make it there on opening day. I'm not going to guarantee anything, but I'm going to try. I have a lot of editing to do. So until next time, I'm out. Later. Thank you.